Welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be doing a simple everyday makeup look for beginners. And this makeup look I think is perfect for school, it's perfect for work, it's perfect if you just wanna do your makeup and go out for the day but you don't wanna spend a lot of money. All the products that I use in this video will be from the drugstore. So everything that I use in this video, you should be able to go into your local drugstore or Walmart to pick any of these products up. So I think that this look came out perfect and I think that this look is perfect for college students, high school students, just anybody. This is a simple everyday look in general. So I made this tutorial very beginner friendly and I'm going to do a voiceover like always but I'm going to go a little more into detail about each product and why you should use it since I'm making this a beginner friendly video. All products used in today's video will be listed in the description box down below just in case you are interested in what a particular product is. But like always, I'm going to try to mention every product that I used in the video. Don't forget that when my channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I will be having a giveaway. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next. If there is any, any particular makeup look that you guys want to see, just let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be sure to get those makeup looks out for you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this beginner friendly, simple, everyday makeup look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting out my brows already done and I use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brunette and it's just a really dark brown so I just did my brows just to save time. And now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and I'm going to use this to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow today. So I'm just going to be using this as my eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to blend that in with a clean, real technique, beauty complexion sponge. And it's damp also. Alright guys, next up we're going to be setting my concealer in place with the Maybelline Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to do this so that my concealer won't crease up on me and my eyeshadows are easier to blend. Next I'm going to be starting with my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Mad for Matte palette by e.l.f. You guys, this palette is amazing for a drugstore palette. I absolutely love this palette. The shadows are so great and they're really good quality. So I'm just going to go in with this brown right here and I'm going to use this as my transition color today. These eyeshadows blend so nicely. You should really go and pick this palette up. Alright, next up because I want a little more definition in the crease. I'm going to go in with this darker brown and I'm going to go directly in the crease and it's going to build up the depth in my crease. Alright, next up I'm going to be using this ivory shade on the end of the palette and I'm going to use this to um, set my brow bone, set the concealer under my brow bone and use this as my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to take that same blending brush that I use to apply my eyeshadow, apply my transition color, I'm sorry. I'm going to use it to blend those two colors in together just to make sure there are no harsh edges in between. Next up, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush. These eyeshadows remind me so much of Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadows. This is just the drugstore version. These eyeshadows are super duper pigmented. 
and I thought that this would make a nice everyday color. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray. It's going to wet my brush a bit just because I want that shade to show up really metallic. And I'm just going to dip my brush into that shadow and apply it to my lid. You see how foil, how foily this shadow is applying. These are really good eyeshadows. Next up, I'm going to go in with a pointed blending brush just to blend out the harsh edges on on my lid color. I'm sorry. And I like going in with a, with a pointed brush because I'm able to get in the inner part of my eye. Next up, you guys know I love a smoky eye. So I'm going to go into this charcoal gray color in the at the end of the palette. I'm just going to use this to smoke the eye out a little bit. But I'm not going to do it too much since this is a daytime look. It's going to add a little bit of smokiness to the outer beauty. Alright, next up I'm just taking a fluffier brush. I'm just going to use this to buff out that color and make sure there are no harsh edges. Next up, I'm just going back in with that L'Oreal eyeshadow just to touch, just to give my eyes any touch-ups because they're, my, my color got lost in the, in the blending process. Next up, I'm going to be using my LA, my LA Girl Glide Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Berry Black. I'm just using that to tight line. And then I'm going to be using my favorite mascara, you guys, this is no stranger to my channel. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Voluminous Black Mascara. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. Alright, moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men Post Shade Balm in, in Sensitive. And I'm going to use this as my primer today. And you really need a primer to make sure that your makeup stays put all day long. So I'm just going to rub this all over my face and you want to make sure that it's tacky before you start applying your foundation or your color corrector or whatever you're going to apply after your primer. Alright, next up, this step is totally optional but I'm going to color correct. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. And I have this coloration around the bottom of my mouth, so I like to color correct that. When you color correct, you just it just it just saves you a lot of foundation. You don't end up packing on a lot of foundation, trying to hide those imperfections because the color correcting just take care take care takes care of that step for you. I'm sorry. Alright, next up for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Plus Smooth. And I'm using Dewy Plus Smooth because I have extremely dry skin. And the lighter shade is my winter shade. And I've been outside a lot this summer, so I went and picked up 360 Cocoa. But it looks too dark, so I'm just going to put it on and see how it goes. I'm just going to use that same beauty blender to blend it in. And yes, the color is way too dark. <laughs> but don't worry, I can fix it when I put my concealer on. Alright, so now I'm just blending my concealer in and you want to make sure that you blend it in really good and you take it down your neck and you blend 
and, and you blame going up into your hairline because you don't want to make it seem like you have a mask on. Alright guys, now I'm going to be concealing. I'm going to be using that same concealer that I use to that I use to prime my eyelids with and is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. And I'm just going to use this to go on my chin, my cubic bow, my forehead and the bridge of my nose. I'm just going to do my eyes last. I'm just blending it out with that same Real Technique Beauty Complexion Sponge. And now I'm going to use that same Maybelline Shine Free Oil Control loose, loose Powder to set everywhere that I highlight it. And you want to make sure that you set everywhere that you highlight just so that your foundation and concealer won't start slipping and moving all throughout the day and melt off your face. All right, now I'm just concealing my under eye. And now because my eyes will crease on me, I'm just going to use the other side of my blending sponge. And I'm going to take my powder and I'm just going to press it into my skin on my under eye area just to set that under eye before it starts creasing. And like I said, I have really dry skin, so I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to use the same Real Technique setting brush, and I'm going to sweep all that extra powder away under my eyes. Alright, next up to add a little definition back to my face, I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony. I'm just going to use this to go in the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead and under my chin. And I'm just adding some color back to my face. Alright, and with no extra product on the brush, I'm just going to pinch that brush and I'm going to take it down the sides of my nose. And now to set my entire face, I'm going to be using my Black Radiant True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Milk Chocolate. And I'm going to use this to set my entire face, even the, even the places that I highlighted. Because I'm going for an everyday natural look, so I don't want my highlight to be too bright. Alright, next up, because I'm going for a daytime look, I'm going to take this NYX 
brown eyeliner and I'm gonna line my bottom lash line and I'm using brown since I'm doing a daytime look and then I'm gonna go back into the elf palette and take that gray take that charcoal gray shade and I'm gonna set my eyeliner and I'm gonna blend it out And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the shade that I use as my transition color. And I'm just going to go right under that to blend everything out. Alright, next up for blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. And these blushes are supposed to be a new formula and they are super pigmented. Alright and for my highlighter today I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Crown of My Canopy. And this is a really inexpensive, really pretty highlighter. Now these highlighters were limited edition but they are bringing them back in their fall collection. They were in their spring collection and I picked them up from the drugstore when they came out with their spring collection, but they're supposed to be coming back out with their fall collection, so you do have a chance to get your hands on them. And I'm gonna keep my highlight very subtle today. All right, I'm gonna be using that same highlighter to highlight my inner tear duct today. All right, now for my lips today, I'm gonna to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Cold Liner Pencil in the shade Semi Brown Now. I'm gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm gonna be trying out the new Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Strip Down. And I really do like these um, lip paints. They are so comfortable to wear. I think I'm gonna go back and pick up more shades. They remind me a lot of my Too Faced. All right, next I'm gonna go over that with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. And then I'm gonna set all of that in place using my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Ex Extender Setting Spray. And you want to make sure to use a setting spray to take the cakiness away and set your makeup. Alright, and that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video.